Hello everyone, so I wanted to do this video today on styling someone for their colouring and style personality. So here we have Zoe, one of our dispensing opticians and eyewear stylist at Style Optique. And Zoe's colouring is what we would describe as warm. So she has these gorgeous red warm tones to her hair, a golden skin and a greeny brown warm tone to her eye. So her overall look is very warm and golden. So I want to give you an example of some colours that I would choose for Zoe. But first, I'm just going to pop these colours around Zoe. So these are beautiful colours, beautiful pinks, purples, greens, but they are very, very cool in colouring. So when we pop these colours on Zoe, what you'll probably notice is that you are drawn to these beautiful colours rather than beautiful Zoe. And what we want is colours which, is which are going to enhance Zoe. So I'm just going to show you something a little bit different. I'm going to show you some warmer based, yellow based colours and I want you to see what happens now. So when we pop these gorgeous warm tones on Zoe, what should happen now is you should suddenly see Zoe. And this is what happens. This is the magic of wearing the right colours. When we wear the right colours, they should enhance us as people rather than you being drawn to the colour itself. So now you should notice a beautiful, Zoe's beautiful red hair, her eye, eyes should sparkle more and her skin will look clearer and healthier. So what I'm going to do now is give you some examples of eyewear that I may choose for Zoe. Now, any of you that know Zoe, will know that she's very creative. She likes things that are a little bit different. She's also very romantic. She loves a bit of glitz, a bit of sparkle, a bit of florals, as you can see today. She's got these gorgeous florals in her dress. She loves her makeup, she loves her jewelry. So I'm gonna give you an example of a frame I may choose for Zoe. So here we go, Zoe. If you pop Thank this frame you. on. So this really is perfect for Zoe. It really works for her creative, romantic style. And it's also in those beautiful, warm, rich colours. We have chocolate browns, we have golds, we have sage greens. We have all these gorgeous, warm tones. So what I want to do now is show you what happens if I was to put the same frame in a different colour on Zoe. So I'll just pop these off. Or do you want to pop them off? Lovely. Thank you. So I'm going to put the same frame on, but this time I'm going to put it on in a pink, which is a much cooler colour. Now what happens when we put the cooler colour on Zoe is it does not work in harmony and balance with her own natural colouring. And you're probably drawn to the frame rather than Zoe herself. Whereas with the other frames, you can see her eyes and her skin and her, and her hair. Whereas these ones, the frames will most definitely walk into the room before she does. Now Zoe is very, very young. So, you know, wearing colours which kind of work against her natural colouring probably wouldn't be the end of the world. But the thing is, as we get a little bit older and we get sort of fine lines and wrinkles and dark circles, what happens if you are warm and you put a cooler tone frame on, it can make your skin look a little bit dull and a little bit grey. And it can just emphasise those under eye circles, which none of us want. OK, what I want to do now is, so Zoe's very creative and romantic, but what if she wasn't? What if she was much more classic in her style? So I want to give you an example now of what I may choose for Zoe if she was much more classic in her style. So in this case, the extreme upswept probably wouldn't be for her. So what I would choose, again, sticking to those lovely rich warm tones, is something a little bit more classic and timeless in shape. So if we pop those on. Thank you. But again, I'm sticking this kind of a warm tortoise shell. It has some chocolate browns. It's got some turquoises, it's got tomato reds and some creams, all those lovely, lovely warm, rich tones, which are perfect for, for keeping that harmony and balance with Zoe's colouring. I'm going to show you now what I wouldn't do for Zoe. So again, I'm keeping with the classic shape and I'm going to show you what happens when we put a blue frame on Zoe, which is a much cooler colour. Okay, so when Zoe's wearing this much cooler colour, she looks a little bit more washed out and her skin looks a little bit greyer. So 
you know, and as you get a little bit older, that's going to be even more emphasised. So you can see the importance of getting the right colours for you. Now, I'm going to, I know this isn't, you, you know, classic is not you, is it, Zoe? This is not something Definitely that not. you'd be comfortable with. So I'm going to put you back in your comfort zone, which is your sexy, glitzy cat eye. And Thank give us a little you. bit of a style optique twirl, Zoe. 